Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to make a beautiful, delicious drink by the name Sorrel. Um, it's known as Sorrel in Jamaica and in many Caribbean countries. Sorrel is basically made from the roselle plant, which is an annual fruiting hibiscus flower, not to be confused with the herb sorrel, okay? Um, the roselle plant is basically grown all around the world and um, it's known as many different names. For instance, in Florida, it's known as the Florida cranberry, not just to only describe the color, but also the tart taste. It is also known in Australia as the Queensland jam plant, um, I guess because they make a lot of jams with it. Um, in India, they call it the roselle hemp plant, um, roselle hemp drink, excuse me, and also the flor de jamaica in Mexico, just to name a few. I'm actually growing um, some sorrel for my garden um, here. It's, they're actually at the perfect point to transplant into my garden. Um, they're actually really easy to grow and um, very versatile. Um, it's virtually drought um, tolerant and disease resistant. It grows as a tall tropical shrub that um, produces these beautiful red blossoms of highly nutritious and flavorful calyxes that make for not only a colorful garden, but of course the rich drink that we're about to make. Um, I hope to have a nice harvest this Christmas. And speaking of Christmas, um, sorrel is pretty much a classic Jamaican Christmas and New Year punch. Uh, my mom, every Christmas would make sorrel in our household and it's pretty much a holiday tradition. Um, not only does she make it for us, but she'll also make bunches for friends and family as well. And um, you'll see once we brew this beautiful flower um, into the tea, its color is such a beautiful bright red rich color that it truly accentuates the, the season. Um, and although Jamaicans typically will use fresh hibiscus to make their flower during the harvesting season, um, you can find dried sorrel pretty much in um, any West Indian grocery store, to any health food stores, or even now your big chain grocery stores like a Publix for instance. That way you can really enjoy this treat all year round. Um, so let's get started. Let me show you the ingredients that you're going to need to make this beautiful sorrel drink. Um, you're going to need a bag of sorrel. Normally it's um, sold as a, this is six ounces. Um, in terms of weight and that I think translates to about five cups of sorrel. Make sure that you rinse your sorrel before just to get rid of any sediments that might be in it. But look how beautiful these calyxes are. Really, really beautiful. Because it is a tart drink, you're also gonna need about um, a cup and a half of organic cane sugar. You can feel free to use brown sugar, honey, maple syrup, any sweetener to your taste. And um, I would start with less sugar, and then to your taste, you can always add to it, less is more. Um, we also require about two thumbs of ginger, fresh ginger. Two thumbs is about two inches. Um, and I know some people actually slice their ginger. I actually think that for some reason, the scent of the ginger doesn't permeate as well in the water. Uh, some people actually blend their ginger. I think it's too strong when you do that. Um, my mom always taught me to mash the ginger. Um, so I'm gonna break a piece off and just show you. Real quickly, um, a trick to peeling ginger is using the edge of a spoon and just scraping it after you wash it, of course. Scraping it and scraping it until the skin comes off like that. And then, just for the purposes of saving time today, when I say smash it, I mean smash it. <laughs> Put it underneath a little paper towel so it doesn't go flying all over the place and grab a hard object like a can or for instance this bottle of wine and just give it a good mash and that's it that's it and i'm going to add this extra ginger in my pile because i like my saw with a little zing um, feel free to adjust to less or more to your liking and then of course just for the a beautiful garnish, you're going to need an orange, um, an orange for its peel and I can show you real quickly since I'm here on how to do the zest for your orange um, garnish. 
So you'll probably need a potato peeler or if not, just a, a knife. But be very careful. You're just gonna roll it over your orange like this till you get to a desired length. Like that. And then you'll either need a straw. I'm using a, I guess a recycled um, chopstick and you're just gonna roll the zest around the chopstick. And give it a little twist, take it off, and you have a little varnish, like so. All right, and then of course you're gonna need um, 10 cups of water. You can actually use more water, but I like to make my sorrel um, very rich. A lot of people will tend to use more where you can actually see through the drink. Um, it's translucent. I like it dark and bold. And speaking of bold, uh, my not so ancient Chinese secret that my mom taught me is to use a half a cup of port wine added to your sorrel. We don't drink alcohol in our house, um, but because of the small portion that we're using for this drink, you wouldn't even know that there was alcohol in it. Um, we like to use the Fairbanks wine which is a California port, super cheap. I think I bought this for like $6.50. Um, and I think in Jamaica they use a brand called Red Label, but I love Fairbanks, that's my personal choice. So to get started, I'm gonna get my pot. Super easy, you're just gonna throw in your five cups of sorrow. And your two thumbs of ginger. Add a little extra. Your ten cups of water. And then you're just going to put this back on the stove um, for about a minute on high high heat, and then for about ten minutes. Um, once you actually bring it to a boil for one minute, you're going to bring it down to a medium simmer and um, let it simmer for about a good 10 minutes and then you're gonna keep it overnight. The key is to let this steep for 24 hours so that the water really, really, really captures um, all the flavors of the sorrel and the ginger and um, I'm gonna set the timer and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. See you in a minute. Traditionally, this drink calls for cloves, a cinnamon stick, allspice, and a dried orange peel. But I personally don't like adding those ingredients because it takes away from the beautiful taste of the hibiscus. So I've got my sorrel that's been steeping overnight. I don't know if you can see it, but it's beautiful. And now all you're gonna do is basically take out flowers and the ginger and you'll see here I'm actually spilling it on my cutting board and my counter guys be careful because it does tend to stain so make sure if you're making this at home that you don't wear anything white if you don't want it to get ruined and make sure to wipe off your countertops or any surfaces right away because it will tend to leave a red spot so we'll just go ahead and try and stain, strain a little bit of this off now. It's so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna break this up so I don't stain my counters. Typically, if I have more time, I'll actually use my hands and get in there and squeeze out as much juice from the flour um, as possible. But for the sheer nature of time here, I just want to show you the process. So now that we have the sorrel strained, we're just going to add in our organic cane sugar. Nice little spin here. 
So sorrel is actually considered a medicinal fruit. Um, it's full of vitamin A and C, um, iron, magnesium, uh, calcium, um, niacin, and flavonoids, which actually accounts for the rich red color and the powerful antioxidant properties in the juice. And of course you have the ginger, which you know is really good for your system as well. However, in this particular case, um, that's not really the, the point um, for this recipe because of the sugar and also the tad bit of, of wine. It just tastes good, y'all, okay? And then of course we're gonna add in the half a cup of port wine. And by the time that you're finished with this, it's gonna look like you're actually drinking a glass of wine. It's beautiful. And um, if, you don't, if you do actually want a medicinal version of this recipe, um, in Nigeria, they actually make a sorrel drink. I think they call it Zubu. Uh, they actually, instead of using sugar and any form of alcohol, they basically take an entire pineapple um, they use the meat and actually the skin of the pineapple as well and boil it with the sorrel and the ginger. So that's a nice healthier version of the sorrel, but this is how I like my sorrel. <laughs> and also in Jamaica, some people tend to put um, white rum or um, Appleton rum, you know, if they want to really get into the season and feel good. But again, you know, any additives like sugar and alcohol really takes away from the medicinal benefits, all right? And that is it, guys. And I cannot wait to taste this. So we're gonna just transfer it into our carafe here. Look how beautifully deep magenta red this is. It's so gorgeous. Pour. And let's make it pretty. You guys, how beautiful is this sorrel, right? It's luxuriously beautiful, and I cannot wait to take a sip. It's tart, it's sweet. It's perfect, it's beautiful, it's luxurious. Cheers to celebrating life every day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.